A non-profit organization NPO, also known as a non-business entity, not-for-profit organization, or non-profit institution, is dedicated to furthering a particular social cause or advocating for a shared point of view. In economic terms, it is an organization that uses its surplus of the revenues to further achieve its ultimate objective, rather than distributing its income to the organization's shareholders, leaders, or members. Nonprofits are tax exempt or charitable, meaning they do not pay income tax on the money that they receive for their organization. They can operate in religious, scientific, research, or educational settings. The key aspects of nonprofits are accountability, trustworthiness, honesty, and openness to every person who has invested time, money, and faith into the organization. Nonprofit organizations are accountable to the donors, funders, volunteers, program recipients, and the public community. Public confidence is a factor in the amount of money that a nonprofit organization is able to raise. The more nonprofits focus on their mission, the more public confidence they will have, and as a result, more money for the organization. The activities a nonprofit is partaking in can help build the public's confidence in nonprofits, as well as how ethical the standards and practices are. Topic. Statistics in the United States According to the National Center for Charitable Statistics NCCS, there are more than 1.5 million nonprofit organizations registered in the United States, including public charities, private foundations, and other nonprofit organizations. Contributions to different charities reached $358.38 billion in 2014, which was an increase of 7.1% from the 2013 estimates. Out of these contributions, religious organizations received 32%, educational institutions received 15%, and human service organizations received 12%. Between September 2010 and September 2014, approximately 25.3% of Americans over the age of 16 volunteered for a nonprofit. Topic: <laughs> Mechanism of money raising. Nonprofits are not driven by generating profit, but they must make enough income to pursue their social duties. Nonprofits are able to raise money in different ways. This includes income from donations from individual donors or foundations, sponsorships from corporations, government funding, programs, services or merchandise sales, and investments. Each NPO is unique in which source of income works best for them. With an increase in NPOs within the last decade, organizations have adopted competitive advantages to create revenue for themselves to remain financially stable. Donations from private individuals or organizations can change each year and government grants have diminished. With changes in funding from year to year, many nonprofit organizations have been moving toward increasing the diversity of their funding sources. For example, many nonprofits that have relied on government grants have started fundraising efforts to appeal to individual donors. Topic: <laughs> Challenges. NPOs' challenges primarily stem from lack of funding. Funding can either come from within the organization, fundraising, donations, or from the federal government. When cutbacks are made from the federal government, the organization suffers from devolution. 
This term describes when there is a shift of responsibility from a central government to a local, subnational authority. The shift is due to the loss of funds, therefore, resulting in changes of responsibilities in running programs. Because of this frequent challenge, management must be innovative and effective in the pursuit of success. Nonprofit versus not-for-profit Nonprofit and not-for-profit are terms that are used similarly, but do not mean the same thing. Both are organizations that do not make a profit, but may receive an income to sustain their missions. The income that non-profit and not-for-profit organizations generate is used differently. Non-profit organizations return their income back to the organization if they generate extra income. Not-for-profits use their excess money to pay their members who do work for them. Another difference between non-profit organizations and not-for-profit organizations is their membership. Non-profits have volunteers or employees who do not receive any money from the organization's fundraising efforts. They may earn a salary for their work that is independent from the money the organization has fundraised. Not-for-profit members have the opportunity to benefit from the organization's fundraising efforts. Both non-profits and not-for-profits are tax-exempt under IRS Publication 557. Although they are both tax-exempt, each organization faces different tax code requirements. A non-profit is tax-exempt under 501 C. 3 requirements if it is either a religious, charitable, or educational-based organizations that do not influence state and federal legislation. Not-for-profits are tax-exempt under 501 C. 7 requirements if they are an organization for pleasure, recreation or another non-profit purpose. Non-profits are either member-serving or community-serving. Member-serving non-profit organizations create a benefit for the members of their organization and can include but are not limited to credit unions, sports clubs, and advocacy groups. Community-serving non-profit organizations focus on providing services to the community either globally or locally. Community serving nonprofits include organizations that deliver aid and development programs, medical research, education, and health services. It is possible for a nonprofit to be both member serving and community serving. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Management A common misconception about nonprofits is that they are run completely by volunteers. Most nonprofits have staff that work for the company, possibly using volunteers to perform the nonprofit services under the direction of the paid staff. Nonprofits must be careful to balance the salaries paid to staff against the money paid to provide services to the nonprofit's beneficiaries. Organizations whose salary expenses are too high relative to their program expenses may face regulatory scrutiny. A second misconception is that nonprofit organizations may not make a profit. Although the goal of nonprofits isn't specifically to maximize profits, they still have to operate as a fiscally responsible business. They must manage their income both grants and donations and income from services and expenses so as to remain a fiscally viable entity. Nonprofits have the responsibility of focusing on being professional, financially responsible, replacing self-interest and profit motive with mission motive. Though nonprofits are managed differently than for-profit businesses, they have felt pressure to be more businesslike. 
to combat private and public business growth in the public service industry, nonprofits have modeled their business management and mission, shifting their raison d'etre to establish sustainability and growth, setting effective missions as a key for the successful management of nonprofit organizations. There are three important conditions for effective mission, opportunity, competence, and commitment. One way of managing the sustainability of nonprofit organizations is to establish strong relations with donor groups. This requires a donor marketing strategy, something many nonprofits lack. Topic: Functions NPOs have a wide diversity of structures and purposes. For legal classification, there are, nevertheless, some elements of importance. Management provisions Accountability and auditing provisions Provisory for the amendment of the statutes or articles of incorporation Provisions for the dissolution of the entity Tax statuses of corporate and private donors Tax status of the founders, some of the above must be in most jurisdictions in the USA at least expressed in the organization's charter of establishment or constitution. Others may be provided by the supervising authority at each particular jurisdiction. While affiliations will not affect a legal status, they may be taken into consideration by legal proceedings as an indication of purpose. Most countries have laws that regulate the establishment and management of NPOs and that require compliance with corporate governance regimes. Most larger organizations are required to publish their financial reports detailing their income and expenditure publicly. In many aspects, they are similar to corporate business entities though there are often significant differences. Both not-for-profit and for-profit corporate entities must have board members, steering committee members, or trustees who owe the organization a fiduciary duty of loyalty and trust. A notable exception to this involves churches, which are often not required to disclose finances to anyone, including church members. Topic. Formation and structure In the United States, nonprofit organizations are formed by filing bylaws or articles of incorporation or both in the state in which they expect to operate. The Act of Incorporation creates a legal entity enabling the organization to be treated as a distinct body corporation by law and to enter into business dealings, form contracts, and own property as individuals or for-profit corporations can. Nonprofits can have members, but many do not. The nonprofit may also be a trust or association of members. The organization may be controlled by its members who elect the board of directors, board of governors or board of trustees. A nonprofit may have a delegate structure to allow for the representation of groups or corporations as members. Alternatively, it may be a non-membership organization and the board of directors may elect its own successors. The two major types of nonprofit organization are membership and board only. A membership organization elects the board and has regular meetings and the power to amend the bylaws. A board only organization typically has a self selected board and a membership whose powers are limited to those delegated to it by the board. 
A board-only organization's bylaws may even state that the organization does not have any membership, although the organization's literature may refer to its donors or service recipients as members. Examples of such organizations are Fairvote and the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. The Model Nonprofit Corporation Act imposes many complexities and requirements on membership decision making. Accordingly, many organizations, such as the Wikimedia Foundation, have formed board only structures. The National Association of Parliamentarians has generated concerns about the implications of this trend for the future of openness, accountability, and understanding of public concerns in nonprofit organizations. Specifically, they note that nonprofit organizations, unlike business corporations, are not subject to market discipline for products and shareholder discipline of their capital. Therefore, without membership control of major decisions such as the election of the board, there are few inherent safeguards against abuse. A rebuttal to this might be that as nonprofit organizations grow and seek larger donations, the degree of scrutiny increases, including expectations of audited financial statements. A further rebuttal might be that NPOs are constrained, by their choice of legal structure, from financial benefit as far as distribution of profit to members and directors is concerned. Topic. Tax exemption In many countries, nonprofits may apply for tax exempt status, so that the organization itself may be exempt from income tax and other taxes. In the United States, to be exempt from federal income taxes, the organization must meet the requirements set forth in the Internal Revenue Code. Granting nonprofit status is done by the state, while applying for tax exempt designation, such as 501 C 3, the charitable tax exemption is granted by the federal government in the form of the IRS. This means that not all nonprofits are eligible to be tax exempt. NPOs use the model of a double bottom line in that furthering their cause is more important than making a profit, though both are needed to ensure the organization's sustainability. Topic: <laughs> By jurisdiction. Australia In Australia, non-profit organisations include trade unions, charitable entities, cooperatives, universities and hospitals, mutual societies, grassroot and support groups, political parties, religious groups, incorporated associations, not-for-profit companies, trusts and more. Furthermore, they operate across a multitude of domains and industries, from health, employment, disability and other human services to local sporting clubs, credit unions, and research institutes. A non-profit organisation in Australia can choose from a number of legal forms depending on the needs and activities of the organisation, cooperative, company limited by guarantee, unincorporated association, incorporated association by the Associations Incorporation Act 1985 or incorporated association or council by the Commonwealth Aboriginal Councils and Associations Act 1976. From an academic perspective, social enterprise is, for the most part, considered a subset of the non-profit sector as typically they too are concerned with a purpose relating to a public good. However, these are not bound to adhere to a non-profit legal structure, and many incorporate and operate as for-profit entities. 
In Australia, non-profit organisations are primarily established in one of three ways, companies limited by guarantee, trusts, and incorporated associations. However, the incorporated association form is typically used by organisations intending to operate only within one Australian state jurisdiction. Non-profit organisations seeking to establish a presence across Australia typically consider incorporating as a company or as a trust. Belgium. By Belgian law, there are several kinds of non-profit organization. Vereniging zonder Winstugmerk Dutch, abbreviated VZW, Vereiniging ona Gewinnerzielungsabsicht German or Association sans but lucratif French, abbreviated ASBL. Internationale Vereniging zonder Winstugmerk Dutch, often abbreviated IVZW or Association Internationale sans but lucratif French, often abbreviated AISBL for international non-profit organizations. Stichting van Openbaar Nut Dutch, abbreviated Sun or Fondation d'Utilités Publique French, abbreviated FUP. These three kinds of non-profit organization are in contrast to a fourth Fidelica Vereniging Dutch or Association de Fate French, an informal organization, often started for a short-term project, or managed alongside another NPO that does not have any status in law so cannot purchase property etc. Association sans personalité morale. Canada. Canada allows non-profit organizations to be incorporated or unincorporated. They may incorporate either federally, under Part 2 of the Canada Business Corporations Act, or under provincial legislation. Many of the governing acts for Canadian non-profits date to the early 1900s, meaning that non-profit legislation has not kept pace with legislation that governs for-profit corporations, particularly with regards to corporate governance. Federal, and in some provinces, including Ontario, incorporation is by way of letters patent, and any change to the letters patent, even a simple name change, requires formal approval by the appropriate government, as do bylaw changes. Other provinces, including Alberta, permit incorporation as of right, by the filing of articles of incorporation or articles of association. During 2009, the federal government enacted new legislation repealing the Canada Corporations Act, Part 2, the Canada Not-for-Profit Corporations Act. This act was last amended on 10 October 2011, and the act was current until 4 March 2013. It allows for incorporation as of right, by articles of incorporation, does away with the ultra vires doctrine for non-profits, establishes them as legal persons, and substantially updates the governance provisions for non-profits. Ontario also overhauled its legislation, adopting the Ontario Not-for-Profit Corporations Act during 2010. The new act is expected to be in effect as of 1 July 2013. Canada also permits a variety of charities including public and private foundations. Charitable status is granted by the Canada Revenue Agency CRA upon application by a non-profit. Charities are allowed to issue income tax receipts to donors, must spend a certain percentage of their assets including cash, investments, and fixed assets and file annual reports in order to maintain their charitable status. In determining whether an organization can become a charity, CRA applies a common law test to its stated objects and activities. 
These must be the relief of poverty, the advancement of education, the advancement of religion, or certain other purposes that benefit the community in a way the courts have said as charitable charities are not permitted to engage in partisan political activity, doing so may result in the revocation of charitable status. However, a charity can carry out a small number of political activities that are nonpartisan, help further the charity's purposes, and subordinate to the charity's charitable purposes. Topic. France In France, nonprofits are called associations. They are based on a law enacted 1 July 1901. As a consequence, the nonprofits are also called Association LOI 1901. A nonprofit can be created by two people to accomplish a common goal. The association can have industrial or commercial activities or both, but the members cannot make any profit from the activities. Thereby, workers' unions and political parties can be organized from this law. In 2008, the National Institute of Statistics and Economic Studies counted more than a million of these associations in the country, and about 16 million people older than 16 are members of a non-profit in France a third are the population over 16 years old. The nonprofits employ 1.6 million people, and 8 million are volunteers for them. This law is also relevant in many former French colonies, particularly in Africa. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Company Registry provides a memorandum of procedure for applying to Registrar of Companies for a license under Section 21 of the Company's Ordinance Cap. for a limited company for the purpose of promoting commerce, art, science, religion, charity, or any other useful object. India. In India, non-governmental organizations are the most common type of societal institutions that do not have commercial interests. However, they are not the only category of non-commercial organizations that can gain official recognition. For example, memorial trusts, which honor renowned individuals through social work, may not be considered as NGOs, they can be registered in four ways. Trust Society Section 25 Company Section 8 as per the New Companies Act, 2013 Special Licensing Schools Sports. Registration can be with either the Registrar of Companies or the Registrar of Societies The following laws or constitutional articles of the Republic of India are relevant to the NGOs. Articles 19 and 30 of the Constitution of India Income Tax Act, 1961 Public Trusts Acts of Various States Societies Registration Act, 1860 Section 25 of the Indian Companies Act, 1956 Section 8 as per the New Companies Act, 2013 Foreign Contribution Regulation Act, 1976 Topic. Republic of Ireland 
The Irish Nonprofits Database was created by Irish Nonprofits Knowledge Exchange to act as a repository for regulatory and voluntarily disclosed information about Irish public benefit nonprofits. The database lists more than 10,000 nonprofit organisations in Ireland. In 2012, Inkex ceased to operate due to lack of funding. Topic: Israel. In Israel, nonprofit organizations (NPOs) and non-governmental organizations (NGOs) are usually established as registered nonprofit associations (Hebrew Amuta, plural Amuto, or public benefit companies (Hebrew Shevra Letolit Hatziber, not to be confused with public benefit corporations. The structure of financial statements of non-profit organizations is regulated Israel's accounting standard number no. 5, and must include a balance sheet, a report on activities, the income and expenditure for the particular period, a report on changes in assets, a statement of cash flows, and notes to the financial statements. A report showing the level of restriction imposed on the assets and liabilities can be given, though this is not required. Amuto are regulated by the Association's Law, 1980. An Amuta is a body corporate, though not a company. The Amuta is successor to the Ottoman society which predated the State of Israel, and was established by the now superseded Ottoman Society's Law of 1909, based on the French Law of 1901. Public benefit companies are governed solely by company law, if their regulations and objectives meet the two conditions specified in Section 345A of the Companies Act, they will in effect be a muto in all but name. An amuta must register with the Rasham Ha Muto Registrar of Amuto, a public benefit company must register with the Rasham Hachavaro Registrar of Companies. Both are under the purview of the Rashat Hatajidam Corporations Authority of the Ministry of Justice. <laughs> Japan In Japan, an NPO is any citizen's group that serves the public interest and does not produce a profit for its members. NPOs are given corporate status to assist them in conducting business transactions. As at February 2011, there were 41,600 NPOs in Japan. 200 NPOs were given tax-deductible status by the government, which meant that only contributions to those organizations were tax-deductible for the contributors. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand In New Zealand, non-profit organizations usually are established as incorporated societies or charitable trusts. An incorporated society requires a membership of at least 15 people. Russia Russian law contains many legal forms of non-commercial organization NCO, resulting in a complex, often contradictory, and limiting regulatory framework. The primary requirements are that NCOs, whatever their type, do not have the generation of profit as their main objective and do not distribute any such profit among their participants Article 50 Civil Code. Most commonly there are five forms of NCO. Public associations. A public association is the form most comparable to an association as used in international parlance. 
A public association is a membership-based organization of individuals who associate on the basis of common interests and goals stipulated in the organization's charter. Foundations – Foundations are property-based, non-membership organizations created by individuals or legal persons or both to pursue social, charitable, cultural, educational, or other public benefit goals. Institutions – The institution is a form that exists in Russia and several other countries of the former Soviet Union. Like foundations, institutions do not have members. Unlike foundations, however, institutions do not acquire property rights in the property conveyed to them Article 120, Civil Code, and Article 20, NCO Law. Moreover, the founders are liable for any obligations of the institution that it cannot meet on its own. Non-commercial partnerships, a non-commercial partnership NP, Article 8, NCO Law is a membership organization pursuing activities for the mutual benefit of members. Therefore, assets that have been transferred to an NP as donations can be used for purposes other than those having public benefit. Autonomous non-commercial organizations, an autonomous non-commercial organization ANYO, Article 10, NCO Law is a non-membership organization undertaking services in the field of education, social policy, culture, etc., which in practice often generates income by providing its services for a fee. Topic. South Africa In South Africa, certain types of charity may issue a tax certificate when requested, which donors can use to apply for a tax deduction. Charities, NGOs may be established as voluntary associations, trusts or non-profit companies NPCs. Voluntary associations are established by agreement under the common law, and trusts are registered by the master of the high court. Nonprofit companies NPCs are registered by the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission. All of these may voluntarily register with the Directorate for Nonprofit Organizations and may apply for tax exempt status to the South African Revenue Service SARS. Topic: <laughs> Ukraine In Ukraine, non-profit organizations include non-governmental organizations, cooperatives, Inc. housing cooperatives, charitable organizations, religious organizations, political parties, commodities exchanges. In Ukraine, commodities exchanges can't be organized for profit, and more. Non-profit organizations obtain their non-profit status from tax authorities. The State Fiscal Service is the main registration authority for non-profit status. <laughs> United Kingdom In the UK a non-profit organisation may take the form of an unincorporated association, a charitable trust, a charitable incorporated organisation CIO, a company limited by guarantee which may or may not be charitable, a charter organisation which may or may not be charitable, a charitable company, a community interest company CIC which may or may not be charitable a community benefit society which may or may not be charitable, or a cooperative society which may or may not be charitable. Thus a non-profit may be charitable see under charitable organization or not, and may be required to be registered or not. United States. 
After a non-profit organization has been formed at the state level, the organization may seek recognition of tax-exempt status with respect to U.S. federal income tax. That is done typically by applying to the Internal Revenue Service IRS, although statutory exemptions exist for limited types of non-profit organization. The IRS, after reviewing the application to ensure the organization meets the conditions to be recognized as a tax-exempt organization such as the purpose, limitations on spending, and internal safeguards for a charity, may issue an authorization letter to the nonprofit granting it tax-exempt status for income tax payment, filing, and deductibility purposes. The exemption does not apply to other federal taxes such as employment taxes. Additionally, a tax-exempt organization must pay federal tax on income that is unrelated to their exempt purpose. Failure to maintain operations in conformity to the laws may result in the loss of tax-exempt status. Individual states and localities offer non-profits exemptions from other taxes such as sales tax or property tax. Federal tax-exempt status does not guarantee exemption from state and local taxes and vice versa. These exemptions generally have separate applications, and their requirements may differ from the IRS requirements. Furthermore, even a tax-exempt organization may be required to file annual financial reports IRS Form 990 at the state and federal levels. A tax-exempt organization's 990 forms are required to be available for public scrutiny. Governance. <laughs> <laughs> The board of directors has ultimate control over the organization, but typically an executive director is hired. In some cases, the board is elected by a membership, but commonly, the board of directors is self-perpetuating. In these board only organizations, board members nominate new members and vote on their fellow directors' nominations. Part 6 Governance, Management, and Disclosure, Section A, Question 7A of the Form 990 asks Did the organization have members, stockholders, or other persons who had the power to elect or appoint one or more members of the governing body? The IRS instructions added other than the organization's governing body itself, acting in such capacity. Topic. Problems Topic. Founders Syndrome Founders Syndrome is an issue organizations experience as they expand. Dynamic founders, who have a strong vision of how to operate the project, try to retain control of the organization, even as new employees or volunteers want to expand the project's scope or change policy. Topic. Resource mismanagement Resource mismanagement is a particular problem with NPOs because the employees are not accountable to anybody who has a direct stake in the organization. For example, an employee may start a new program without disclosing its complete liabilities. The employee may be rewarded for improving the NPO's reputation, making other employees happy, and attracting new donors. Liabilities promised on the full faith and credit of the organization but not recorded anywhere constitute accounting fraud. But even indirect liabilities negatively affect the financial sustainability of the NPO, and the NPO will have financial problems unless strict controls are instated. 
Some commenters have argued that the receipt of significant funding from large for-profit corporations can ultimately alter the NPO's functions. A frequent measure of an NPO's efficiency is its expense ratio i.e. expenditures on things other than its programs, divided by its total expenditures. Competition for talent Competition for employees with the public and private sector is another problem that nonprofit organizations inevitably face, particularly for management positions. There are reports of major talent shortages in the nonprofit sector today regarding newly graduated workers, and NPOs have for too long relegated hiring to a secondary priority, which could be why they find themselves in the position many do. While many established NPOs are well funded and comparative to their public sector competitors, many more are independent and must be creative with which incentives they use to attract and maintain vibrant personalities. The initial interest for many is the remuneration package, though many who have been questioned after leaving an NPO have reported that it was stressful work environments and implacable work that drove them away. Public and private sector employment have, for the most part, been able to offer more to their employees than most nonprofit agencies throughout history either in the form of higher wages, more comprehensive benefit packages, or less tedious work, the public and private sectors have enjoyed an advantage over NPOs in attracting employees. Traditionally, the NPO has attracted mission-driven individuals who want to assist their chosen cause. Compounding the issue is that some NPOs do not operate in a manner similar to most businesses, or only seasonally. This leads many young and driven employees to forego NPOs in favor of more stable employment. Today, however, nonprofit organizations are adopting methods used by their competitors and finding new means to retain their employees and attract the best of the newly minted workforce. It has been mentioned that most nonprofits will never be able to match the pay of the private sector and therefore should focus their attention on benefits packages, incentives, and implementing pleasurable work environments. A good environment is ranked higher than salary and pressure of work. NPOs are encouraged to pay as much as they are able and offer a low-stress work environment that the employee can associate him or herself positively with. Other incentives that should be implemented are generous vacation allowances or flexible work hours. Online presence Many NPOs often use the .org or .us or the CCTLD of their respective country or .edu top-level domain TLD when selecting a domain name to differentiate themselves from more commercial entities, which typically use the .com space. In the traditional domain noted in RFC 1591, .org is for organizations that didn't fit anywhere else in the naming system, which implies that it is the proper category for non-commercial organizations if they are not governmental, educational, or one of the other types with a specific TLD. It is not designated specifically for charitable organizations or any specific organizational or tax law status, however, it encompasses anything that is not classifiable as another category. Currently, no restrictions are enforced on registration of .com or .org, so one can find organizations of all sorts in either of these domains, as well as other top-level domains including newer, more specific ones which may apply to particular sorts of organization including, Museum for Museums and, Coop for Cooperatives. 
organizations might also register by the appropriate country code top-level domain for their country. Topic: Alternative names. Instead of being defined by non words, some organizations are suggesting new, positive-sounding terminology to describe the sector. The term civil society organization CSO has been used by a growing number of organizations, including the Center for the Study of Global Governance. The term citizen sector organization CSO has also been advocated to describe the sector as one of citizens for citizens by organizations including Ashoka Innovators for the Public. Advocates argue that these terms describe the sector in its own terms without relying on terminology used for the government or business sectors. However, use of terminology by a non-profit of self-descriptive language that is not legally compliant risks confusing the public about non-profit abilities, capabilities, and limitations. In some Spanish language jurisdictions, non-profit organizations are called civil associations. Equals <laughs> equals see also.